Hey there folks, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to take hard neck garlic and string it up so that it looks like braided garlic, something like this, all right? Now, if you know anything about your garlic varieties, you know there's a soft neck variety and a hard neck variety. Soft neck garlic is this, the stuff you see braided because hard neck garlic actually, it's called hard neck for a reason. It has this really stiff stalk in the center and you actually can't, you can't braid it. It snaps and breaks. So I'm gonna show you how to make, I don't, I don't even know what to call it, a garlic swag, a, a fake braid of garlic using your hard neck varieties so that you can still hang it in your kitchen and get that beautiful feel that we all love. So let's dive in. You're really only gonna need three things for this tutorial. So I'm assuming if you're watching this that you grow your own garlic. So the first thing I'm gonna say is you wanna pull it, cure it. I have a whole video for you on that that you can go check out. But once it's cured and dried, go ahead and snip off your roots and then take about, leave about half to one inch of the stalk attached to the bulb itself because you're gonna need it in this tutorial. Now the other thing I use is a giant, huge needle and then this cotton thread that I believe, oh, I can't remember the name, but it's, it's used for tying up cuts of meat and cooking um, roasts and things like that in the oven. This helps hold them together. So I will put a link below to the thread and a large size needle so that you can grab it and go. But let's dive into actually making one of these so you can actually see the procedure and the process. So we start by measuring off our cotton thread, or I guess this is technically string, but you want to decide on your length and then double it. So I don't want a super long garlic garland, so I'm gonna do it about, mm, about here. So I'm just gonna cut it, and then I'm gonna thread my needle. My hands are dirty from working with garlic. We're going to knot the ends and make a large knot. All right. And then you're simply going to start adding your garlic. So go ahead and about halfway up your stalk, go ahead and plunge your needle in through, and it actually will go through easier than you think. And then we just slide it down, make sure it's taking evenly. And then as you string them, you're just going to want to alternate one side and then the other back and forth. Like this. And you want to keep the stems at the back so that the fronts come forward.
All right, now when we go to lift this up, this is gonna settle and you're gonna have to shift things around a little bit. So I'm just gonna put one more on here. And then we're gonna hang this up and just, well first actually, yeah, we're gonna hang it up and then we will shift it around. On the back side, you, for the most part, that's where you want to see the ends coming through. If we look down here, we can really see that so that when you flip it over, you've got a nice bunch of onions on the front. If you don't like the sort of singular look, just shift your garlic and push the base down. So here where the, the centers come through, push them down and that will clump them together more and give them a thicker look. rather than that individualized two by two like we've got down here. It's very much two by two by two and if you like that, that's totally fine. But if you want something different, go ahead and push the ends down and you will get beautiful, more cluster-like look. Once you are happy with how it's arranged on your thread, then we've got to go up and uh, trim the top to length. So I just like to knot it off. You can see here, I just like to use the string itself. But if you wanna do something fancier than that, you totally can. But I'm just gonna take this back over to the counter and knot it off. tips for you especially if you are a gardener the first thing I would say is for this stringing technique I prefer to use my little tiny garlic bulbs things that I know I don't want to replant because the cloves are so tiny so I like to use my smallest and sort of the, the worst for this technique just because if I'm replanting in the fall which I try to do every year I'm going to be sorting through and popping out the biggest cloves. So I try to make sure I pick the little guys that I will just be using in my home cooking. And these will actually hang there until spring. I will, uh, when spring comes and when my, my other garlic supply in my cold room runs out, I will start pulling from there. But in the meantime, they can sit in my home and, you know, late fall and winter months and just bring a pretty cheery, kind of natural atmosphere, remind me of my garden when it's buried under snow. I love that. So this serves both as home decor and then eventually I will use it in my cooking and it will slowly disappear. So that is how I recommend though that you use your hard neck garlic to create something pretty for your kitchen. No, it's not the same as braiding and it's not quite as pretty, but you know what? It works. All right, folks, be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will get back to you on them. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Autumn Rose. You can find me on my YouTube channel, A Traditional Life, or over on my blog, atraditionallife.com, where I help women learn skills that will help them create natural homes and healthier families. 
All right, folks, we'll see you next time.